everybody happy Thursday I hope you're all having a lovely day today um, I thought that it would be a really fun idea to kind of bring you along with me today and show you what I'm up to um, obviously I have lots going on with the business and I thought it would just be fun to show you some of like the design work that I'm up to and also just the general kind of behind the scenes of my life as well which isn't something that often gets shared so I'm really excited to be doing this if you are watching this video and you're like, who on earth is this person? <laughs> Hi, I'm Katie. Um, I run a branding design business, um, which is mainly like most of my content is over on Instagram um, at wildflowerdesign.co underscore hate that username um and then also a lot of my kind of actual design education content and like personal stuff is at by katie proctor all of the links are in the description um i'm so used to kind of making content over on instagram and i thought it would just be really fun to have a stab at youtube because it's something i've always always loved Fun fact, I used to be that girl that was obsessed with YouTubers when I was like 13, 14, and it was literally like my dream to be a YouTuber. I wanted to do it so badly, and I actually did. I used to make <laughs> loads of YouTube videos that are probably still out there on the internet somewhere. Please don't go and try and find them. <laughs> But I used to try and make videos all the time and like upload them to YouTube and I actually really love video editing like I'm just a super creative person in general so obviously I do design for a living but I also really enjoy you know musical theatre, video editing, interior design, anything just really creative it's like my thing. So I have quite a few things that I'm doing today and I thought it would be fun to just kind of show you my Google Calendar so that you can see what I'm up to. I use Google Calendar and Notion religiously to plan my weeks and I'm hopefully going to be filming a video that's going to show you all about my setup and how I do it and everything like that but um, I'm going to show you what I'm up to today. So this is what my kind of daily setup looks like on my computer. It feels so weird filming this on a camera versus a phone, which is what I normally do, but let's get into it. So the first thing I always get questions about is like these things at the side here that you can see. Um, so these are actually stickies and it is an app that comes with the Macs. So it is already on Macs. If you have a Mac, it's already installed, you just need to type search. And I kind of like to just customize the color to gray and like change the font. Um, but I literally use these to brain dump, um, meeting notes, um, just to take notes while I'm designing if I need to remember anything, to remind myself of my quarterly plan, everything like that. And then I always start my day by looking at my Google Calendar. I tend to plan this a week in advance. At the moment I have things planned for two weeks in advance, purely because I'm actually going on holiday in a couple of weeks, not even a couple of weeks, next Sunday. Um, so I needed to make sure that I was getting everything done. So if I like come out into my month view, yeah. It's, it's, it looks like a lot, but this is the system that I literally live religiously by. So this is where we are today. Um, at the top here, I have basically my YouTube videos. Obviously this is something that is new and that I'm trialing. So I'm trying to kind of see how this works, but I have the videos that I'm filming at the top. So obviously I'm filming a bit of a day in the life video today. I'm also gonna be filming a design with me. Um, if you never see that video, it's because something went horribly wrong, but hopefully that will be coming soon. Um, so I always spend the first half of my mornings obviously doing my kind of morning routine. Let me just scroll up so I can show you that. So yeah, my morning routine, um, which is what you obviously saw at the beginning of this vlog. Um, I tend to start work at about 9.45. I'm probably going to start, well, pretty much now because it's half past nine. Um, because I have a few extra ad mini bits to get done. Um, like I have like a questionnaire to fill out for someone. Um, I have some like feedback from my team to look over, things like that. The main bulk of today is going to be starting the brand identity for a brand called Pearl Ivy. And obviously I have all of their permission to share things and everything like that. Um, but I'm really excited and I will explain a bit more of that when I get into it. Um, so that's the main kind of bulk of my morning. Obviously then I'm going to have my lunch break. Then I'm working on a PDF design and also some packaging for a brand called... 
Angle, I believe. I never know whether it's Angle or Angel, which is really bad because they are my clients. I'm pretty sure it's Angle. Um, and they are a sustainable cleaning brand. I worked with them way back in like October of last year We're on a like day service for their branding. However, they wanted a few extra bits. And then lastly, I'm going to be working on the brand presentation for a brand called Camp Colada. I've already finished the branding. I just need to put it together in a presentation. So in a nutshell, that's my day. You can pause here if you want to be really nosy and look at what I'm up to this week. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. So as I mentioned, my first task of every single day is always basically doing admin work. So mainly answering my emails. I have a couple more than usual today. And also, as I said, there's a couple of extra bits I have to do. Um, so let's get straight into it. Also, can we just take a second to appreciate this gorgeous doggy asleep on his bed? admin tasks are all done I've sent meeting requests I've answered emails I've filled out questionnaires and I feel ready to start my day now because I feel like if I don't do that stuff in the morning then my brain is just like constantly checking my emails and I try to check them kind of once in the morning once after lunch and once in the evening before I log off which I find works really really well um, but now I'm super excited to sit down and basically just design all morning these are my favorite kind of days because I just get to be super creative um, so the brand that I'm going to start creating today is called Pearl Ivy and it is a kind of very feminine fashion clothing boutique based in the US and they're all about kind of timeless classics meeting fashion forward and it's just a really super exciting brand and I'm really excited to dig in um, but first I wanted to show you guys my desk setup. So you may have seen the screen kind of pop up a couple of times <laughs> on my Instagram stories and stuff but this is a website and it is called lofi.co and what it is is like an ambience kind of I don't even know how to describe it. Hold on, there's like a glare from my window. There, that's better. Um, it's like an ambience background noise lo-fi music type situation so then you can kind of click on here and like turn on all of these like various background noises i love to have rain and then also obviously you can press the play button and have like music playing as well and i just find this really relaxing when i'm working so this is what i'm going to be using while i'm designing today also side note the glare in my glasses is like so annoying i'm like looking in the viewfinder and i can see it so badly so i really apologize if this like blue tint gets on your nerves but i'm as blind as a bat so I need the glasses to see, <laughs> so sorry about that one. for about an hour and a half now and I'm not gonna lie my brain just feels like it's just completely frozen up and just can't come up with anything um I don't know if you guys ever get this but sometimes I just feel 
so uncreative like I have major creative block right now that's what's going on I was kind of sitting down going through these concepts trying to figure out what fonts I wanted to use for colors and I was just constantly jumping between different elements rather than focusing on one thing and that normally happens when I have no idea what the direction of the brand is um sometimes when I'm working on brands the vision comes to me really clearly other times it takes a little bit more research and figuring things out and I feel like this is one of those brands during the visual direction stage the client wasn't 100% keen on the color palette that I presented so I'm kind of going at things with a clean slate in terms of that so sometimes that can be a bit difficult because you don't exactly have the colors in your mind which can sometimes inform a lot of design decisions so I was I was really struggling and I said you know what what would I say to somebody else who is in this situation so that's my watch telling me it's lunchtime so I went back to the drawing board and I sat down and I basically wrote out the goals of the branding project and what we're wanting to achieve and how we're hoping to achieve them just to kind of refresh my mind and just remind myself of what exactly it is that I'm doing and then I just grabbed a ton of new inspiration um that kind of is gonna guide the visual direction a little bit more i'm hoping that's gonna work anyway um i'll show you guys what i've been up to there's not much on there at the moment um but i'll show you this and then i'm gonna go and head for my lunch break because i am absolutely starving and i just need to give my brain a bit of relax because i'm doing more designing this afternoon for a different project and i just need to be prepared for that so, I mean, this is what my, my art boards look. And I know it looks like I've done a lot, but a lot of it is just kind of mood boarding and stuff that I pulled in from the visual direction. But like, I was just kind of, I don't want to show too much, but I was like playing around with loads of logos over here, trying to find some fonts, playing around with colors. And I was just jumping back and forth. And then over here, I just kind of started to reassess. I was going through the brand strategy and just trying to kind of figure out what it is that I'm doing. I just filmed or tried to film a little time lapse of me eating my lunch and let me just say that clip is never ever seeing the light of day I was so hunched over my food it is actually embarrassing that was not that was not attractive oh hello <laughs> <laughs> oh no don't. let's not start that again if anybody else owns a sausage dog you will know exactly <laughs> what this is like they have no concept of personal space but i wouldn't change it for the world i know i know i know come here that's a citron yay good boy in the hand good boy beanie well done here good boy
Okay, so that actually took me like an hour and a half longer than I thought it would. Which is the greatness of using Google Calendar to time block is sometimes you don't get the timings right, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna try and push on and get the other stuff finished, but I am gonna give myself like a 20 minute break first. I'm probably just gonna sit on my phone. Um, I might watch some YouTube videos or something just to try and like calm my mind down after that. Um, that was super fun though, if you saw the packaging, it looked really cool and we also worked on like a free cleaning guide PDF thing which is super cool also and also I learned a few things from that, so that's awesome. Um, and that is all now sent to the client, so hopefully that can start to be wrapped up. Um, but yeah, the one thing I have left to do is put together the presentation for the branding for Camp Colada which I'm determined to do today because I know that I don't want these things to get pushed back to the rest of the week purely because I'm so busy at the moment getting everything tied up before I, when I go on holiday. So we're gonna try. I did intend to go food shopping this afternoon but I don't have time for that now so my boyfriend's gonna pick up a few things on his way home from work. Um, so thank god for that. Okay there's been a slight change of plan. I know I said I really really wanted to get that presentation done but I've actually ended up spending the last hour editing this vlog because I literally have no other time that I can do that. So that needed to actually take priority. Um, it is currently 20 past 5 so actually I'm gonna go and meet my boyfriend Josh at the supermarket and we're gonna do a bit of shopping. Look at you handsome boy in the sun. Yeah. Oh, you're such a good cool boy. Have you had a nice day? Yes. A vlog wouldn't be a vlog if it didn't have solid bean content. And he knows it. So, it's a little bit later on. It's 10 to 9 to be precise. Um, my evening didn't quite go as expected. I did a little food shop, bought some cleaning bits as well. Um, I cannot resist buying like smellies for my house. It's a problem. Um, but yeah, and I literally came home, made some dinner, and I think we're just gonna chill for the rest of the evening, so there's probably not much point in me filming it. Um, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and hope that you enjoyed seeing my day and having an insight to what things look like behind the scenes. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe for more videos because there will be more um, and I will see you next week with another video.